What have you got there? Uh, well, I have a turkey stuffing bat, if you must know. I meant the brandy. Well, it's Christmas. Pour it on stuff, set fire to it. So that's the hottest thing you're getting this year? <laughs> oh, bruise your ego when I turn you down yesterday, did I? Ah, I'll wait. Can't resist me forever. Oh, I won't bet on it. Oh, I would. It's a dead cert. So rumour has it there's another job for us, if you're interested. I need you on top of things. Well, I don't need advice from you, Tar. Or anything else, for that matter. Catch you later. Right, ladies! Who fancies getting the mitts on some designer footwear? Hot and police, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> Look at this. 50 quid a pop to you. I'll pay him that for knockoffs. Excuse me, they're worth ten times that. Come on, Cinders, give us your foot. Let's see if they fit. I can't wear them. I'll break my neck. Well, they might make a nice present for Belle. It's, uh, it's a birthday tomorrow as well. Oh, yeah, just bung us some cash. I need to check with Sam first. He might have got something in Houghton. <sighs> Completely wasted journey, then, yeah? Right, well, off you go, then. Me and our Paul are having Vinny round. We don't want you hanging around like a bad smell. Look at the state of that. Could have thought to have some decent decorations. Do one. Charity! What are you doing? You robbing me? Yeah, for the present you haven't bought Sarah and Noah. How do you know I haven't? Oh, don't look at me like that. I mean, you're no saint the way you've treated your kids. You're a mess. Sort yourself out. Mm. 50 quid to look a million dollars. I mean, that is a bargain by anyone's standards, isn't it? I'll think about it. <sighs> Lydia, come on, Belle's birthday. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to check with Sam yet. Oh, please, just spoil yourselves. You need something to liven up Christmas. He says I haven't already. Don't come in here flogging your knockoff tat. My pub, I do what I like. Half yours, actually, not that you know the hours that you put in. Well, beats knocking around with you, doesn't it? Hope you're going to pay for that. Call it a Christmas present. You're a disgrace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cos I'm the bad fairy and your missus perfect. I'm not perfect, Charity. But at least I care about my kids. When was the last time that you saw Moses? It's out of sight, out of mind. But you see, Noah's still here, but it won't be for long because he's joining the army to get away from no, you. No, he isn't. He's only said that to wind me up. Wake up, Charity. You're losing him, just like you lost Vanessa. Don't you dare bring her into this. Why? Because the truth hurts. You know what? You're so arrogant and selfish. You blew it, just like every other good thing in your life. Get out! I'm not having you ruin Christmas. You made me take it off. Well, what if Chaz sees you? I don't want anything arousing. I don't want anything arousing suspicion. All right? Any word on a marquee? <sighs> I've run around everywhere and there's, there's nothing. I'm sorry. Nothing? Right. Well, that's it then. I'm officially stuffed. What's wrong with the beer garden? What is right with the beer garden? You've got to have a reception outdoors in this weather. You'll freeze your little bubbles off. You got a better suggestion? Yeah, I do, as it happens. I think we should do it inside the pub. Inside the pub. No, don't worry, I'll be all over it. I've got a team of helpers on standby, and the second Chas leaves for that church, I'll get started. That place, I'll look like a winter wonderland in one hour. Would you really do that for us on Christmas Day? <laughs> yeah, well, it gets me out of doing the washing up, doesn't it? Layla, you're a godsend. I know. How was the uh, rehearsal? Oh, wonderful. Still feeling the love. I'm not sure Chas is. She's just had a right go at charity. Tore a strip off her good and proper. Oh, everyone's fed up with her. It's been brewing for ages. I think you did the right thing not inviting her. I'm doing it for Chaz. Nothing can spoil tomorrow. It's a wedding day. It has to be perfect. 